I'm blessed with the opportunity to make a difference in people's lives. Not everybody's given that gift. Instead of looking at kids at being at risk and looking at uh, risk factors of families, of looking at the family's strengths, how do we broaden that for them? And how do we make sure that the systems don't harm those gifts and positives, but build them up and shore them up and lift them up? It's all about uh, getting people to speak in terms of, what, of, of strength-based practices for kids and positive youth development. Our job at Great Kids is to, uh, is to serve the community by providing um, evidence-based practice training, to provide uh, other trainings for different uh, segments of the community that are working within the youth and family relations field, uh, to provide opportunities to, to, for sharing and growth within those different professions. And uh, we have been in existence since 1998, doing that in a meaningful way, thanks to the continued help of the Follinger Foundation, uh, because it, it does improve the quality of life for kids. And I think that's been evidenced not only because of great kids, great kids have hopefully been a catalyst for some of that, but Macmillan Center and all that it does is a positive youth development facility. It's, it's a place where strength-based practices are explored and, and celebrated in multiple different ways. And, and, and that's important, it makes the quality of life in Fort Wayne what it is. And I think Fort Wayne's a wonderful city. I think it's a wonderful community. Uh, way before we were uh, leading the band uh, uh, on positive youth development and strength-based practices, it was actually happening here. And, and kids were getting the kinds of information, the kinds of help that they needed in multiple different ways and in creative ways to, to understand the importance of health education and. Uh, sobriety and, uh, uh, and good nutrition and, and all of the important things. And I think you know, McMillan has to take uh, some kudos of, of, of knowing that that education, there's a whole generation of kids that are my sons and daughters age that, and younger that now understand that and are starting to implement those practices. I see my daughter, for example, in, in the strict diet she maintains for, for her uh, two little ones. And, and being very cautious about nutrition and being very cautious about screen time and being very cautious about uh, being uh, up to date on, on, on what's supposed to be done in terms of, of health uh, for, for our grandchildren. And I think uh, it's because of places like Macmillan that uh, we have a new generation of, of parents that, uh, that understand that far better than what I ever understood when I was coming into age as a parent. And we're still thinking, you know, hot dogs were, were the greatest thing. So. I must confess, I do too, but, uh, <laughs> but it, it's great to see that happen. And I, that's, I think that's the real value of Macmillan. It, it can't be underscored enough that that kind of ongoing, continual uh, uh, impact on the lives of children, the kids do pick that up and carry it forward.